It's Ramsey Dewey and Tian Yu, and we're over here at the Animal MMA Gym in Shanghai, China. Let's try out some more flippy dippy Instagram jujitsu that I watched while sitting on the toilet, trying to make the best use of my time. So, this first one comes from J Flow Judo, and I really like the way it looked because it's a combination of two of my favorite moves the golf swing takedown and the Iminari roll. So, I'm going to shoot for the Iminari, but instead of leg locking him, I'm going to stand up. And then I'm going to do the golf swing takedown. And I love the golf swing takedown. I first learned it from a master of Taiji Twin. And, you know, it's, it's a staple of Chinese Sanda. You'll see it in Muay Thai. You'll see it in freestyle wrestling, all these other combat sports. But, you know, I like the way that, that felt so far. But I think I got to fix my roll a little bit. So I shoot, I roll, I stand up. And, okay, I like that because... Sometimes it's hard to shoot in at a guy, especially a guy like Tenyu who's shorter. So if we're sparring and he's already like so close to my hips. And so if I shoot, you know, it's easy for him to sprawl. So it's often easier for me to get in on the Iminari, but I do this to him so many times trying to get this Iminari roll takedown that he's pretty savvy to it. He doesn't let me do that, but I can get to his ankle. So what I really like from this technique from J Flow Judo and they're their Instagram page is that you can get the ankle, but you don't have to finish the Iminari. And there you go with the golf swing takedown. If you don't know that takedown, I've got a whole video all about how to do it, setups for it, etc. But this particular setup, man, I'm liking that one. It looks fancy, looks all flippy dippy and crazy, but hey, Tinyu, you want to give this a try? He's never done this before. Here, go ahead. So Iminari, right, he stands up and yeah, sweet. I'm liking this one. It looks awesome, feels awesome, not that difficult to do. I'm going to give it four stars. This next flippy dippy jujitsu move comes from BJJ World. I saw their Instagram feed and they're doing some, some Russian tie up stuff and a really common reaction to the Russian tie up is the guy starts pulling himself free, right? And they can be really hard to hold on to. And so you're, not, you're probably not going to get a takedown off of this. You're probably not going to get the, the arm bar. Now I've got a whole video series about, you know, how to, how to lock up all kinds of cool grips and get some neat takedowns off of that. But that's neither here nor there. This one is a combination of the Russian two on one and the Darce choke. I love Russian tie ups and I love Darce chokes. So let's see how this one works. So he's got the collar tie, we strip that. I start pulling him down. I move into the Darce choke. I drop down here and in a perfect world, I get him to tap out, okay? But the more I started thinking about this, I started thinking, what if he, what if he starts posturing up? Because this is the same problem you have when you start pulling down here. The guy pulls away from you. Here, Tinyu, fight back, pull away. Yeah, pull that arm up, stand up. Yeah, he's going to pull this away and he's going to get up, right? So here, do it to me. So he's doing this and I'm like, I'm trying to get up and out here, right? And if I'm pulling on his head, the chin, you posture up. Yeah, he's going to get his head free, right? You want to fight that grip on the head. So if I get over here and I jump the gun and grab, a, grab my bicep and start locking this dorse up right here, chin, you, I want you to posture up, like stand up as I go down. And I'm like twice his size and he's still posturing up out of, out of this grip because that's all it is. It's my, it's my hand grabbing my bicep. So again, uh, I'm going to try to do this and I want you to fight back. Like, don't let me have it posture up. Yeah. Basically, if, if he has good posture at all, even a little bit, this is not going to happen. Here, let's, let's come on down to the floor for a second. With a Darce choke, I find I love using a three-quarter Nelson first, staple the head to the floor first, and then roll him onto his side before I even think about locking up that figure four, simply because at any other point, if his head is free, right, if, even if I'm here in the three-quarter Nelson here, posture up, get that head up. Now it's going to be really hard, so I've got to be able to put my weight on him, get the head down first, now can you posture up? 
I mean, if he's really strong, you know, he can give me a hard time, but I can roll him onto the side. Now can you posture up? Yeah, now at this point, now I can lock up this figure four and finish. So I like the idea of what BJJ World is putting out there, but the, the practical reality is a good fighter is going to posture up. And I don't want to train against average people or, or bad fighters or people with broken posture. I want to train techniques that are going to work against everybody. So I'm going to give this one an, an E for effort, but eh, pretty low score in the practical fighting realm. Next. This next one comes from a couple of shirtless guys on the internet whose names I don't know. So we're, we're just going to call them the flippy dippy shirtless guys from the internet. So we start out, one guy's behind, behind me here, right? So here, grab, uh, grab your hooks on the back. And the idea is that I am going to rotate over here and get a headlock and get my right leg in here. And now I'm going to take him over. And as I'm kicking him over, I'm going to grab this leg. And now I've got options to go into, um, oh, what do you call it? Straight ankle locks and heel hooks and even, you know, roll into a knee bar over here on the way over. Basically all the leg locks at my disposal. Now, when I saw this, I, I'm familiar with all those leg lock transitions from a, a butterfly hook kick over. And that's great. That stuff works. What, what I'm wondering about is if he's really fighting back, go ahead and grab me. Am I going to be able to get this transition? And if so, how easy is that going to be? Okay. Basically going from the back to the front. Okay. Now see if you can get my neck. Yeah, this, this is the problem. Like a guy on your back is he's going to be tight. Now you might be thinking if you haven't wrestled or done any grappling before, Oh, but I know what's coming. Yeah, I know there are a million things that can happen if I don't hold on tight because I've wrestled before. I've grappled before. I know, I know the other guy's going to be really, really tight because if not, if not, he does what he wants and he gets out. And again, that's, that's my big problem with this one. So get on really tight here. Again, if he's holding on tight, he's got his head in here like he should. He's in a position where he can do all kinds of offensive moves here. Let's go, go live. And I start reaching back here or even the other way. I just, I just don't think it's a good move, to be honest. He's not going to give me that kind of space. You know, if I can get to here, right? If I can get like a, a headlock here and I can get a butterfly hook and everything else in this sequence works. I mean, if I can get here, great. I can kick him up and over and I can grab this and, you know, I can do all the cool leg locks. That, that's fine, right? Or I can just sweep him onto his back and fight from there. The big issue I have is just how this starts out, that first transition. Nobody good, nobody halfway decent is going to give you that type of space. So, you know, I, I like that, you know, they're getting out there and training, but it's really not as easy as they present that in that video, not even a little bit. So I'm going to give this one a eh, thumbs down. Anyway, test out your techniques before you teach them before you put them up on the internet or teach them in a class or whatever. Thank you for watching. Now get out there and train. Brought to you by xmarshall.com. Use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off everything. That's xmarshall.com. High quality training gear and fight apparel. And since everybody always asks, if you have questions that you want answers to, just leave them in the comments below. I read your comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy this groovy music. Now get out there and train.